This video is sponsored by Cassidy. All right, guys, my three minutes max tip is for when you have icons or objects that you want to appear in similar locations throughout your document. So I have these icons down here for hops, for malt, and for pairing. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the hops icon and I'm going to anchor it at the beginning of the word hops. Now the problem with anchoring objects like this is that the anchoring is often incorrect. So I'm going to option click on the anchor icon and I'm going to change how I'm telling this to be anchored. I'm going to tell it to use the top middle reference point. I'm going to tell it to anchor it relative to the anchor marker instead of the text frame. And now I can make some adjustments to move my icon back to where I want it to go relative to the new anchoring properties. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'm going to create an object style out of that called Beer Icons. And the problem with object styles in my opinion is that it always wants to record way more properties than I want it to. I only want this to record the anchored object properties. So I'm going to make sure that I uncheck everything except my anchored object options. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to make sure I apply that object style to this object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that icon. And I'm going to go into my Find Change dialog box into the Grep properties. And you can see what I'm doing here is I'm searching for the word hops when it appears at the beginning of a paragraph. And then in the change to property, I'm going to choose other clipboard contents formatted. So basically the icon that I copied is what I'm going to use to replace. Now the thing is, if I do this right now, I'm going to delete all of the text, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to change this, I'm going to type dollar sign one, which means uh, replace, uh, or, or I should say put hops back where I found it. Okay, that's why I put that in parentheses. And in the find format, I'm going to tell it to only find this in the beer details paragraph style. So that's going to isolate my search. And now if I hit change all, you're going to see that I now have that icon that appears in every location. What I can do now is I can click on the malt icon and I'm going to make sure before I do this that I apply the beer icons object style to that. And then I'll go ahead and cut that icon, but this time I'm simply going to change the word hops to malt. And when I do a change all, now I've replaced all of those icons. And finally, I'll do the same thing to the pairing icon. And then all I have to do is change this text to say pairing. And when I do a change all, now I have all of those icons in their position as well. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.